Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Yeah, Thursday night in the Riverbend. Oh, Time. man. <laughs> no, I wasn't, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Lights yeah. don't work and yeah, labeling well, you is know. weird and... Everything's crazy all of a sudden. You know, every prepared. night, every it's, Thursday at 6, it? things Thursday? get weird. Every Thursday at 6 p.m., yeah. right in this building, things get weird. Well, little, Why is that? A little stressed out tonight. A little stressed out? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid saying the N-word. Uh-oh. Yeah. Which one is well, that? Well, you know, they wanted to come up with the double N-word last year, and I uh, wasn't about <laughs> to go for the double N-word, so... <laughs> I'm doing my best. To, double uh, in is that negative, Nancy? Well, no, you know, I, I don't, I don't like to mention things, right? Because, you know, manifestation, power. yeah, right. power, all that, yes, mumbo jumbo, right? People think about, yeah. but well, you know what I do want to mention? Our sponsors, right? That's what I want to mention. Helping Music has been sponsoring us since the day I started, uh, so that's been five years. I don't even know how long it's been. Uh, Matt Van Voors, who I saw out at Hopper Fest this weekend, he was looking very dapper, as always. Uh, Matt's been with us for years now, too. And uh, they're both great companies. Halpin Music can supply you with not only your rock and roll instruments, but all the, the stuff your kids need for, like, band and school, things like that. And you can insure those through Matt Van Voors of Macias Insurance, along with your home, your auto, and everything else. So, uh, big kudos to them. He's got a gig this weekend. I saw that yeah. Stubblefield down at the Lovejoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. I am excited to see Stubblefield. I'm just trying not to say the N word. What else you got? <laughs> well, it's hard. You look at all these gigs and you're like, wow, this is almost. And I just, I don't want to say it. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? Because hey, what is that anymore? Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I what? definitely don't like the double N word. That was, All right, so let me ask you there's this. There's no though. such thing as a new, you know. Let me ask you this one. What is? What do we call the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Law? You just said it. But what? How? What do we That's shorten that to? Too close. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's legal. <laughs> We, so, we don't need normal anymore. I guess Our we don't. National Some states do. Some but. states do, not us. So there you go. Missouri, that'd be nice. Yeah, there you go. I was just trying to get you they to say They got medical, it. though, right? They do have medical. They're my there. my sister-in-law lives down there. She's got her medical card going on. So I know uh, a lot of people who'd move there if they did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little well, cheaper. Probably, probably. that The property's definitely cheaper if you yeah, head down some south. Some laws of, are uh, way cooler. I don't know. Well, I haven't studied their laws, but uh, I, I can tell you this. Uh, my wife's family is from down in, in Missouri, and I hear some talk when we go to, like, you know, Easter or Fourth of July or whatever, and they were all complaining very badly about Missouri because they had all voted to raise taxes that year to fix the roads, and the year was up and the roads had not been fixed. And I heard one of them spout the words, I'll never vote for another tax hike. I don't care if they're trying to raise money for water to put out Burnham babies. <laughs> I don't trust them to spend the money right. So I think Missouri's just like everybody I'm else. I'm going to say I could, you know, cross a line anytime they want to do that. I'm like, well, why can't you budget what we already did? But yeah, this ain't right. a political show. We're, we're, we're off not? The, we're off the board. Suddenly now. I felt like this we were. This is about sea shanty <laughs> sing-alongs. I was just trying to avoid the N-word. I'm, I'm, I'm and just I, drunk I, enough and the to only not know reason, what's going on. The only reason I say that is because it's like, man, looking at this list of what's happening. It is great. I'm One happy One thing I know that's it. happening hey, here in a little bit what, is, is borderlines. What about our sponsorship for Alex? Be on the show. Money for, shot, that guy? Yes. Michael Mike Kreider. Kreider. Bum, 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 bum. We almost forgot to mention. Well, I didn't know if I could say the H word either. Or the I word. Insurance? Alex. Oh, honky. Oh, honky. Oh, a honky. I guess that's legal. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, but uh, as you said, we're going to have Borderline on with us. Uh, we interviewed him a few weeks back, and we're going to play that interview this evening. And I got to see him this weekend. They are good. Uh, I, I, they've, they've got their stuff together. <laughs> As the kids say, 
Uh, you would hope so after all these years and uh, John, playing every weekend practically. Not only that, downright nice folks. Uh, I, yep, I, I knew really that. In, I, I already knew that about Mike and Joe. But Joe but got, Melantine was on the show with us, and Mike Hatfield, the piano player. Mike is a goofball, uh, and I think Joe's pretty goofy too. But uh, definitely got their stuff together musically, and the girl singing for him. Wow, uh, she's got some pipes. So. Uh, get out and see borderline That's we're gonna have you a said in the interview <laughs> i hadn't met her yet and, yeah. I, and i'm gonna tell you this we wanted that we were saying they were saying next time they come back they're gonna try and get her to come after she met me i don't think she's going to i don't think i don't think she'll ever come in here <laughs> i i mean that's a nice compliment you just gave her I, uh, well, i'm not saying what you say in the interview is not you know, I'm just I, I'm teasing the interview. This is what this is called. It's a professional promo. Wow, doing, you are good, right? You are a journalist. Yeah, you because I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what I say about her on the interview. I have no idea, but I do remember like saying some things to her at the festival this weekend that I thought, oh, she's never going to want to come on our radio. And I'm just well, goofing with people for the future. Anyone whose bandmates are coming on the show, yeah, if they're not with them, yeah, there's a chance. That those band members may talk about them. Yes, we are. And you may ag them on. And I'm going to talk some smack. And I will make stuff up right on the spot. Allegedly. Allegedly. (laughs) That's what we need to start the show with. I'm telling you. We should call this allegedly Riverbend Talent. Uh, That that would work. There you go. Uh, So there we go. Voice the intro. Brought to you by Halpin Music Company, which is not allegedly. (laughs) That's the only truth we speak. (laughs) <laughs> the the uh when we talk about our sponsors is mainly true except for whenever i talk about getting handsy with matt van boris i don't think i've ever really got handsy with him but maybe who knows i don't think he's ever come to anyone's house with his guitar either he comes to my house with his guitar if i ask him to he's that nice of a guy uh, uh, hey so let's allegedly get down news. to the show yeah uh, so, so we can get on sing along see shanty sing along see shanty sing along at morrison's <laughs> irish pub Each week, we start with that. It is happening right now. It started 10 minutes ago. There's already people drunk on Irish whiskey and singing along. Yep. So there you go. Get down to Morrison's. Man, last week, drove past the night market on the way home. Packed. Couldn't even get a parking spot. Packed. I, I, uh... Did you go see Hookie? I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to go down there, and I was called by several people who said they drove down there and could not find a parking spot with within blocks. Been a great place to hand out them little Packed. business cards about Packed. the festival. Almost. I know. I, 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 You're slacking. If, if, I, if, only was I, if only I was a good promoter. Right. I am so lame. <laughs> so uh, a couple of releases came out that I forgot to mention recently. One by T.J. Hernandez. That was back on the Ooh, Memorial nice. Day weekend. And now The Intrusion has theirs out awesome man right. uh that i i think tj uh played us a little uh, preview because he had been in the studio working on it and i'm gonna tell you wow to the production on his on, on the new album and that mm-hmm. wasn't even finalized yet and i was blown away uh so and he, you know he's just a good songwriter and a good dude he so, does singles he's so all he that is was he, a single thing I'm is he sure. playing down at the lovejoy monument i think or uh, the lovejoy uh lodge i think uh not immediately oh i, th- I thought that was uh, this weekend was matt tall nope you're thinking of someone else all right, all right. infamous to the river bend we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> Not Doug Jenkins. Not Doug Jenkins. No. He's infamous to the river bend, and Doug, Doug, Doug is a hint. <laughs> Anyways, Doug Rafferty. Doug Rafferty. Oh, there it is. you got it. Uh, it took a second. I'm like, Doug. Tonight at the night market, Tony and the Saints. Not Doug. Tony and the Saints. Awesome. 7 to 10 at Pocket Park. That's right next to Jacoby's Art Center. Starts at 7, goes till 10. Bet it's going to be packed again. Going to be a good time. Yep. That's good. We also got the Hollywood Five from 6 to 10 p.m. at Fast Eddie's Bon Air tonight. Late breaking news, John Mondin, instead of open mic tonight at the conservatory from 8 to 11. The next two Thursdays, uh, the open mic has been postponed. Now, I don't know if John's going to be down there next week, but he is down there tonight at 8 o'clock. So check that out. Night market, just try it. I wouldn't see John Mondin in the night. There you go. Start at the night market. Walk over to the Tony conservatory and, the and catch Mondine. Right. Tony to John. There you go. No Doug's involved. 
<laughs> Anthony, Anthony. Uh, <laughs> poor Tony. Yeah. Uh, one, one that guy's going to be waiting outside to pummel me when I walk out. Uh, open Maybe mic that's night. Tony Morales. I do, wouldn't that be odd, yeah, dude? That would, that would be a throwdown right there. Uh, Tony Morales and John Mondin. Whew, that's some serious guitar slinging. Uh, open mic night tonight, hosted by Everhart and Light. That is 6 to 10 p.m. at Baker's and Hale out in Godfrey. The Hideous Gentleman are playing tonight out in Bethalto at Music in the Park. Nice. That's Central Park in Bethalto. There you go. We also got Grafton's Music in the Park with Trilogy tonight, 7 to 9 p.m. So you might want to get headed down to Grafton if you want to see that one. Yeah. And the Grand Band, 7 to 10 at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. There you go. Steve Davis, Memories of Elvis tonight as the Wild E Theater is back open, 7 nice. p.m. for Steve Davis, Memories of Elvis. And that means the Artemis Pyle show will probably happen now at the Wild E that's coming up. That's you know all about Artemis, don't you? Artemis Pile, right? That is. I don't even see that on the list. Where's that at? It's coming up. I oh, said. coming up. Oh, I'm looking down. Well, going, my, I don't see it. I, I, my I'm point sorry. is, I almost brought up the N word again. Uh, no. Yeah, because the while he's been well, holding back. What do you say when? What, do, what does everyone say when, when uh, the main character or the most famous guy walks into Cheers? It's what do they too say? Too close, man. Someone else can do it. Norm! It ain't happening. There we go. All you right. Just, you just. Uh, Norm! You know All where right, the jinx is, is coming on? from, folks. Matt Watershine. You know, Canada went backwards. I'm just saying. <laughs> Canada's been backwards I'm from the beginning. Saying. They had to go back into quarantine. <laughs> uh, look, they. Though everyone talks, I know we're not political, but the whole uh, thing uh, the, uh, the whole thing about building the let's wall. Let's talk about the Prairie Inn and Dorsey. I want to say that we should build a wall, and I'm not talking about between us and Mexico. I'm talking Don't about us in Canada. Off South Park. You are, it's already been done. That joke's 10 years old now. I just like Mexico. I, you ever go down there? Beautiful beaches, cheap weed? I'm just well, saying. You know. Sure, it's crappy weed, but it's a garbage bag for $10. You're king for a day, right? It's uh, legal weed in Canada. And, well, there we go. All right. And they got nice strip clubs in right. Canada. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, back to back to the exactly, list. What's going man. on? What are you uh, doing? Scott Marlin, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Old Herald Brewery in Collinsville, See, Illinois. you're trying to skip ahead. Matt Waterscheid, 6 to 9 at Prairie Inn and Dorsey. I skipped him because he owes me 20 bucks. Now, okay. I, I have no idea who Matt Watershide is, but he's probably a great That fella. was just Thursday, folks. That was Thursday. Let's that get down Thursday. to Friday. Let's do it. Pianos got- at Raging Cajun on Friday and Saturday. Deluxe Duo, 2 to 6. That's uh, Dustin Coleman, by the way. Do you know that? I did not know that. There you go. He's playing all weekend. He's down in Dupo Friday and Saturday. Good times saloon. Good times. He's a good promoter. Dustin Coleman. Yeah, I remember he was doing a whole lot of shows at the uh, airport up there in Bethalto for a while. Right, right. So, uh, that deluxe duo is two Back to in six. The <laughs> that days. Deluxe the duo, two days. to six p.m. and then exit fifty two seven thirty to eleven thirty. Those are both at Fast Eddie's Bone Air. We tomorrow mentioned night. Uh, our tomorrow. sponsor, Matt Van Voorst. Yep. Stubblefield. We mentioned this. Yep. He's in Stubblefield. We mentioned that again. <laughs> And uh, that's 7 to 10 at the Lodge at the Lovejoy in Alton on and Saturday. Stubble Field. And that will be a good time. Your chance to thank Matt Van Force for Riverbend Talent on the Big Z. And your chance to see Stubblefield. They throw down. They will tear it down, baby. Uh, what else we got? Jason McAtee, 7 p.m. at Baker's and Hale on Friday evening. Grand Band, 6 o'clock at Locks Brick House in Bethalto. Levi Lloyd, 7 to 10 <laughs> at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. The Owls, 6 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton on Friday. Boulder Dash, 6 to 10 at Grafton Pub. Your turn. Reckless Whiskey, 9.30 p.m. at the Smoky Jennings Pavilion at the McCoupin County Fair in Carlinville, Illinois. Yeah. So that sounds like a good time. Yeah. The Smoky Jennings Pavilion. Wow, right, it's an right. interesting name for a pavilion. It sounds like a pretty cool place to hang out. I know. I, I believe that's a sponsor. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just going Smoky Jennings. Sounds like a cool yeah. dude. Like, yeah. I would hang out with Probably. that dude. Probably. Like, I, I forget like, exactly what he does, but I remember seeing another post that 
alluded to that being a sponsor. Oh, just his name alludes to me. Mm. If, if you said, this is Smokey Jennings, what do you think he does? I'm going to say plays guitar and gets high. That's Waylon's I brother. Don't, it's Waylon's Waylon's little brother. Right? Yeah. Waylon's son. Not son. We are, we know that's Shooter son. Jennings. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Shooter, Smokey, maybe it's his other son. There you go. Maybe it's his daughter. We don't know. <laughs> could be. Because she could be Smokey. Why you got to go ascend and, uh, go assuming Smokey's gender? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. You you were leading me that way. I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's get back to this uh, before I spin off the Kapow. rails. Kapow. Kapow. That's a band name. That is bad. 930 at Patrick's in Granite City on Friday. Down and Dirty, 8 to 12 at the Tri-City Speedway Car- Carnival in Granite City. That's going on starting, I think, the 10th that's today right for 11 days so this is just weekend number one for the tri-city speedway carlinville and they got music friday and saturday night starting with down and dirty on friday night Mm, awesome we got the bimbo city shuffle 6 p.m at reese's brewery in edwardsville tomorrow night uh five point plan that's all we need that's Mm -hmm. all we need they're at the moose in uh edwardsville I think that's their first show. Excellent. Moose, yeah. I've never heard a five-point plan, but it sounds like a pretty easy plan to follow. Five members, we, <laughs> maybe? It could be. We got Midlife Duo, 7 p.m. at the cabin at Judy's Creek in Glen Carbon. Our sponsors are in bands. Yeah, well, musicians sponsor this because mm-hmm. they, they understand that this is sponsoring vital? musicians. I don't a know. A vital I asset to the community? No. Well... They refer to it that way, so you know I, I, they're really happy. That's why they help us. I I think it's because they're drunk. No, I don't. I don't well, know. we're talking about two of them that listen. Matt Van Voort oh, definitely I'm sorry. listens. There we go. And and Michael Kreider definitely listens. And they're both definitely half they, drunk by be, now too. No, because I'm just kidding. they like it. And speaking of like. Uh. I'm trying to get to uh, Michael Kreider because Money Shot is the band I'm about to announce Friday night, 6 o'clock at the Yellow Dog and Warden. But, uh, hey, that reminds me, I I don't like to toot our own horn, but sometimes (laughs) it's it's just neat to see that people are responding to this show. And uh, I would say maybe a little over a week ago, maybe less, we crossed the 200 subscriber plateau on YouTube. Wow. Now, when we started the show, we had like 30. <laughs> so, they, yeah, and that's about about two years ago now. Well, there you go. So, we got 200 people subscribing to the cottonmouth.org mm-hmm. uh, YouTube channel where we put up all these shows mm-hmm. along with lots of other uh, material that and you put up over the years. I seen today someone shared the video on Facebook of Neurologic at your festival. I saw that too. Corey Clapper, I believe. I saw that too. I it was I and I miss those guys. Which I love that also, band. Yeah, find at our website. Right our on. YouTube channel. I, I, all I can think of is you say ever since you said toot our own horn, it's like tooting your own horn it. sounds like a euphemism. Uh, for, of some type. I don't know. Uh, what, what's a money shot? Where are they playing 6 p.m. at the Yellow Dog yeah, yeah. in Warden, Illinois? Pumped to see uh, original music getting uh, promoted in our area. And uh, Pops and Sajay, what a cooler place to uh, play, man. I mean, yeah. seriously, that'd be a great place for a original concert, right? And so yeah. they're doing their local music series. And uh, Nico, Into the Blue, and Lofty's Comet, 7 o'clock at Pops and Sajay on Friday. It's five bucks in advance, so get your tickets uh, today. Nice. And, and I tell you what, I, I, uh, I saw Nico. I like them. I don't know about Into the Blue. Lofty's Comet, real good. Just was just trying to get a hold of them to have them come on the show mm. uh, because we haven't had them on the show yet. So, yeah. gonna have to come in, boys. Some people don't want to face you. Well, some people. J- I don't blame people mm. who don't want to be around me. I'm anyway, annoying. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I failed to mention that it's eight dollars day of the show for that. Five dollars in right, advance. Right, right. Eight dollars day of the show. Also, Shotgun Creek, seven p.m. at Friday night at the Farm Concert Series at Grant's Farm in St. Louis, Missouri. That's going on tomorrow night. Seven o'clock. How about that? Shotgun Creek and goats. And goats, man. Nice. Yeah, you can feed <laughs> you the can goats and rock out to right. Shotgun Creek. <laughs> Right, that would be awesome. You fed yeah. the goats over oh, I, there. Oh, I've I, I, run through I, the waterfalls. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I got nothing to say. I, I started to say something inappropriate. Mm. I, I let's just move on. I always uh, like the buffalo. 
Mm, the big white, the great white buffalo. Yeah, sweaty Teddy. That's your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm the white uh, buffalo of my family. Uh, I the white buffalo. No, I'm wait. the black sheep. That there it is. I'm the white sheep of a black family. I'm the. I don't know what I am. I'm confused as what I am. Let's get on with Saturday, June twelfth. Uh, what do we got? The Alton Farmers and Artisans Market. It's an artist demo of pottery wheel throwing by Bob Sandcamper at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, then cor- and that is at the corner of Landmark Boulevard and Henry in downtown Alton. Downtown A-Town. Maybe. And right around the corner, an art carnival from noon until 4. This is the uh, grand finale carnival showcase, which happens 4 to 5, that part. The art carnival goes from 12 to 4. Yeah. Right? Right. And uh, the showcase part's 10 bucks, just so you know. Featuring, what is that? Is that 11XI? Uh, that is 11XI. 11, 11 the Mentalist. I, yeah, so there you And go. others at Jacoby Art Center in Alton. Right on. That. So you can, you can go morning. down there. Day, yeah. yeah, you can go down there at 8 a.m., and go to the uh, uh, pottery wheel throwing, mm. and then get you w- some veggies. When that ends at, they at got noon, veggies yet. they probably got some spring ah, sure. veggies. Yeah, and then when that ends at noon, you're already down there for the grand finale carnival showcase. Here's one we haven't announced in a while: a venue that was doing uh, music pretty regularly <laughs> back in the <laughs> no. ah. N word days. Skylark Brothers at Brown Bag Bistro in Alton. Nice. Right? Nice. That's a Saturday. Happy to see those guys having music again. Mm-hmm. And here's the one I was referring to earlier. Matt Tall and Doug Rafferty, 7 p.m. Lovejoy at the uh, or the Lodge at Lovejoy in Alton. And mm-hmm. that'll be a good show. Though. Some serious songwriters going Judge on there. Judge Nothing. Right? Yep, Rafferty from Judge Nothing. They have... <laughs> Doug's got two shows, yeah, on, on Saturday because uh, Riverbend Records is doing their RSD drop with live music out there in Godfrey, which is almost Alton actually, yeah, right, right on the uh, Parkway, right next to Mister Donuts, the infamous Mister Donuts. The no alleged Mr. needed Donuts. there. No biscuits and gravy is so good. Mm. I'm gonna check this lineup out for the uh, RSD drop. Okay. Who's going gonna to be there? There's a band hasn't played in two years going to be there. Uh-oh. But we'll start with, yeah. at 11 o'clock, Joshua Grassley and Friends. Nice. Noon. Good start. 86 Red. Oh, yeah. You just seen Formerly that. Formerly Hive Mind. Right. Right. 1 o'clock, Bruiser Queen. I don't know them, but I like their name. That's pretty funny. Followed by 2 o'clock, here's the band that hasn't played in two years. Biff Gnarly Ooh. and the Reptilians. Nice. That would be a good one. I haven't seen Biff for a while. Right. Followed by 3 o'clock, Doug Rafferty of Judge Nothing at River Bend Records in Godfrey on Saturday. Nice. I just saw Billy Hurst out at Hopper Fest this weekend. See how I keep wanting to say the N-word? Because this feels like what it used to feel like. Yeah. You know? In the long, long ago. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Before the uh, new... (laughs) Anyway. Uh, com, uh, number four, Combo, 7 p.m. Saturday night, Bakers and Hailing Godfrey. We got to back up. We skipped some because I wanted what to do. What we skip? Well, we what missed we Naked skip? Soul, 2 to 6, and Exit 52 uh, at Past Eddie's. They're uh, 7 yeah. to 11 at Past Eddie's. Uh, right. Cricket and the Grilled Avocados, 6 to 10 at Chubby's and Alton. Yeah. I know that gives you one. Rock Bottom at Third Shoot in Alton. And the Trag Band... 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. at the Alton Marina Pavilion. There you go. You know what? What? I got something uh, I came across today, and I don't know if you know this or not, but I was checking out summer schedule, and the Alton Marina led me to this. Do you know that the uh, Alton Amphitheater this year will be having local bands? I did not know that. that uh, is, about uh, that is once great a month, at least, I've nice. seen so far. So Super happy to hear that. We'll be talking about that, yeah. 
Super happy to hear about that. New regime. There you go. Uh, number four combo, 7 p.m. Bakers and Hale and Godfrey on Saturday night. Then Dustin Coleman, 8 to 11 p.m. at the Locks Brick House in Bethalto. By the way, Troy Taylor sold out again for his little speeches. He's yeah, been $44 doing it. $44 person. Yeah, telling Best stories. Western. He's Aaron doing great. Missed out on the Edgar Allan Poe this time. Yeah. Uh, Scott and Michelle, 5 p.m. And then Plastic Kings, 9 p.m. at the Pump House in Wood River. Go down, check out some good music, and play some pinball. The drummer from Hooky, Colossal Wreck, is banned. 9 o'clock at the Refinery Bar in Wood River. Also, guys from Amped Up in that band. Awesome. We got uh, Synergy, 3 to 7 p.m. at the Grafton Winery on Saturday night. Trip Wire, 4 o'clock, and Southside Bluesy Boys, 8 o'clock at the Hog Pit in Grafton on Saturday, and Outlaw Opry, 6 o'clock at the Oyster Bar in Grafton, Saturday. Simple Therapy, 2 to 6, and Lead Sledge, 7 to 11 at the Grafton Pub. Jake Weber and Lonesome Drifters, 7 o'clock at the Gold Bar at Rustic Retreats in Grafton on Saturday. Uh, how, how about Patrick's? They're having their second anniversary uh, since uh, changing from Eddie's. Nice. One time in Granite to Patrick's and Worth the Fight going to be playing 9 30 to 1 a.m. Got down. down at, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Down, down and dirty. Yeah. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. at the Tri City Speedway Carnival in Granite City on Saturday evening. Then we got Flipside 7 p.m. at Hooch and 16s in Granite City. Hey, uh, can you imagine checking out a band while like race cars are behind you no so i I did i went to when they had the uh, christmas lights down there i went to it and it was cool because you got to drive on the track for just you know yeah for part of it so i imagine like between songs you'll be hearing or maybe you know depending how close you are to the speakers during songs engines so it's like live (laughs) motors and live music right but they go on after the races i think the races usually end around 11 so there's about an hour to two hours depending on which night because next weekend i think they're staying open to one so i'm thinking what a cool gig that would be man all the racers and race fans come down for your last set that's pretty sweet yeah That is all happening Saturday night at the Tri-City Speedway in Granite City, Illinois. Right. Uh, we got the Trophy Mules, 6 p.m. at Reese's Brewery in Edwardsville. Lanny and Julie, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. The Strangers Duo, 2 o'clock at the Foundry at Public House in Edwardsville. Boulder Dash, 5 to 8 at Hoodats in Collinsville. Highway 615, 6 o'clock at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield. Flatliner, 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> at the Smoky Jennings Pavilion at the McCoopy, McCoopin County Fair in Carlinville. We got Stone Blanket. That's a, a cool name, uh, kind of. Uh, Stone Blanket, 8 p.m. at Rooster's Pub in Staunton. Unless and, someone threw one on you. And well, yeah. That's that might a, hurt a little. Uh, Money Shot, that's Michael Kreider. Bum, 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 bum. 8 p.m. Insurance. at the Elks Club in Panna, Illinois. A sponsor of Alex Onky. And Shotgun Creek, 7 p.m. at Charter's Patio in Vandalia, Illinois. The Vault, 3 o'clock at Longshot Tiki Bar in Portage, Desu, Missouri. And then the Grand Band, 2 p.m. at Sandy Creek Vineyard in Farmington, Missouri. That's all Saturday. Look at the Sunday list, another page. Uh, well, let's do it, man. Because all... it keeps happening in downtown Alton all weekend. All man. wheels driving. It's uh, Sunday. Right, the Time Machines Unlimited Car Show at eight, and then Tripwire two to four, at Third State and Bell. And all right. all. Awesome. Naked Soul one to five p.m. Hollywood five six to ten p.m. at Fast Eddie's Bonaire on Sunday. Our sponsor Michael Kreider Farmers Insurance Money Shot playing at Chubby's on uh, Sunday from three to seven in Alton. Tim Levine, 2 p.m. on the patio at the Pump House in Wood River. The Vault, 3 to 7 p.m. at the Grafton Winery. And then Trilogy, 3 p.m. at the Loading Dock in Grafton on Sunday. I've seen a picture of them. Would you think that's a three-piece? I would think. I think it's like triple that. Wow. It's I- like eight guys or it's a double maybe trilogy. seven yeah. yeah they got horns and keyboards and multiple <laughs> nice. guitar players yeah the, the funny thing is when you first said they got horns i picture people with horns coming out of their head well, like, you would picture I, something like that <laughs> for just a second i'm like that's awesome they got horns uh anyway. this is coming from a self-proclaimed musician <laughs> allegedly uh, allegedly a musician. Uh, not even allegedly i don't even right. claim it uh we got we got k you played trombone at my house i about passed out 
<laughs> we got, we got, how do you say this name? Kaylin. Kaylin Her. Her. Kaylin Her. Okay, 1 to 5 p.m. at the Grafton Pub. Lead Sled, 2 p.m. at Oysters at the Oyster Bar in Grafton. Jonathan Baker, 2 p.m. at Aries in Grafton. That's a lot going on in Grafton this Sunday, yeah, like, always, every, yeah. like always, like uh, always. Brushville, 2 p.m. at Wild Pickens Winery in Chesterfield, Illinois. Uh, the Skylark Brothers, 4 to 8 p.m. at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Mike Sondergrass, 2 p.m. at the cabin no. in Judy Creek. Slow down. Wait. Mike, Mike Sondergrass. I said, I said Sondergrass. 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 Yeah. yeah, Mike Sondergrass. Sorry for, for doing that, buddy. you got such an easy name. I don't know mm. how I messed it up. Yeah. It's a lot Lots of E's and G's yeah. and R's going on. Mm. Uh, Mike Sondergrass. definitely blur. <laughs> Right. 2, 2 p.m. at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Uh, Dave Horton, 2 p.m. at Hoodats in Collinsville. Patrick White, 5 p.m. at Patrick's in Granite City. So something Patrick going on there. Harvest Drive, 2 to 6 at Deutsch Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. Pat Liston, 2 o'clock at Copper Dock in Pocahontas. Meatwood Flack, 1 o'clock <laughs> at Roosters in Staunton. And the Grand Band, 3 o'clock at Long Shot Tiki Bar in Portage de Sioux, Missouri, right across there it is. the mighty Mississippi. Hey, I man, I ran, into, uh, I ran into Greg Morris Yeah, uh, at the uh, Wood River Truck Festival recently. Yeah. He plays uh, bass for Walk On. You know, he plays in all them different bands. So... Uh, no reason for bringing that up except for that you know i ran into him and uh you know how you run into him jogging a lot i i, I run while you're out all, jogging i run into all kinds of people sometimes when sometimes along the old jogging path on the river road uh you know who i ran into this weekend greg morris at right. Hopperfest. see how that happens <laughs> so, uh, you know who else i ran into borderline they are our guest and they're probably like man uh-huh. we've been listening for half an hour uh-huh. waiting to hear our, our part no i'm just kidding they, they, they are no, great they, people they, so. their part's way better than our part absolutely let's get down to it then all right here we go right into it just like pushing a button riverbend talent on the big z i'm dennis pig pen i'm you, here you're pig pen i'm pig pen or pig uh, pile if if but uh, Jody, Jody Grinder. Grinder's right, here. Yeah. I almost said Jody Foster again. Right. Sorry. Jody Foster's hot. Right. I'm just saying. I'll well, tell you what's hot. Really. I'll tell you what's hot. Girl boy. <laughs> Our guest is hot. Borderline. Borderline. Right. I'll tell you who's hot in Borderline. Mike. Oh, <laughs> Randy. I feel Randy. <laughs> we, we, got, we got two of the members of Borderline. Hey, actually, we got some sponsors. Yeah, we do. Mention. We got we had Halpin Music been sponsoring the mm-hmm. show for four or five years. Yeah, I don't even know. So yeah, if you in, need some music them. equipment, yeah. Halpin is your spot. If you want to insure that music equipment, get Matt Van Voorst from Messias mm-hmm. Insurance. He's going to insure that gear or a motorhome. In my case, it burned up at your house. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, yeah, a lot of stuff needs insured. Anyway, stuff happens. There yeah. you go. And uh, somewhere around here is our engineer running around, Mister A Honky. Right. Uh, Mike Kreider, that's right. his sponsor, mm-hmm. Farmers Insurance. Farmers bum, Insurance, bum, 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 out bum. there by the airport. Now, back to the Also, fact. Money Shot. I always like to plug He's the in band. the band Money Shot. That's and then right. Matt Van Voorst is Stubblefield. Is in the band Stubblefield, man. There you go. And, and They should start the insurance And band. who is Now, let's go to Halpin. Who, what band is John Hand in? Oh, he's like in every band. He's in 25 bands. I can't name them all. I bet Mike Hatfield knows who we're talking about when we're talking about John Hand. He's a piano player. That's why I'm... Local no? Piano, piano player. players don't know each other? No, I don't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> See how you assume those things? I'm out know. on a pass right now. So. <laughs> I thought all piano players like did the dueling piano right. thing when no one was looking. Like the way all bald guys lick each other's head when no one's looking. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Okay. All right, let's get back to what's really going on here. We've got two of the members of Borderline with us. We've got Mike Hatfield, uh, Hates the McCoys. He's here with us. He's a uh, piano player, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and we're going to get into some other stuff about you later that this guy's not nice. <laughs> that's all right. And and then we got Joe Melantine. Uh, Joe, uh, piano, our guitar player, vocalist. Yes, sir. But you, right. you play a lot of other stuff, too. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to get into that. Now, your brother, yes. Tim? Yes. Tim Melantine, he plays the bass guitar. He didn't show up. He... 
I don't know, he's too good for us. You, know, okay. you said he was a little stuck up, had his head in the clouds, thought he was better than everyone, right, earlier. And now Either that or he's, he's stuck, in a, <laughs> stuck in a fast food line somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, Randy Bland, the drummer, yes. uh, not in, also not present. And then Stephanie Rabus, which I, I haven't even got to see a picture of Stephanie, but I'm building her up in my head. It's just gorgeous right now. It's going to be awesome when okay. I see her. Nah, poor Stephanie's <laughs> like, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> what, did, what does Stephanie do, vocals? Stephanie sings, yeah. That's, Excellent. And that's all, yeah. And it's, that, and that is the harmonica. Uh, oh, she does play harmonica. I forgot there about that. There you go. Blows yeah. a little harp, yeah. too. So there you go. And those, the five of you make up the Borderline Band. You guys been playing since 1999, possibly before? It, it, it's been a, a long time. And, and the reason the dates are fuzzy is... You know, when alcohol. You're, well, b- besides <laughs> besides the alcohol, but when when you start playing music in third grade, right, uh, and then you get to high school and you're like, oh, we're still doing this. Okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> and then before you know it, you're 25, 35, and beyond, and you're like, wow, that kind of just all blended together. Mm. Right. And so, yeah. so 99 is a, a, a good starting point. It could have been 94. Yeah. It could have been 2001. It's somewhere in there, uh, <laughs> border, Borderline came together, and it's just kind of been a fun ride. Yeah, so. but you started out young because of your uncle, right, Lonnie? Yeah, my uncle Lonnie team? had a band uh, called the Empty Heart Band, and uh, I, I'm not really sure how that ended or how it worked out where my brother Tim and I ended up in the band. I just know we showed up i was nine years old he was 12 and we played our first gig it was a wedding in which everybody every band enjoys playing weddings oh, right yeah. played a wedding I, I got paid like 75 bucks and went and stuffed that in my sock drawer at home and went back to my third grade class like pretty excited about it <laughs> that's you know? good yeah. money for a nine year old yeah, yeah. I, I was selling cinnamon toothpicks at that night <laughs> buy a car back then <laughs> right <laughs> First car only cost fifty. <laughs> oh man! How about you, Mike? Uh, How did you get started playing? Um, I played piano since I was about eight years old. Wow! Um, used to even play uh, West Dalton. There used to be a little bar there, and I think there still is called Russ and Mary's. And my old man used to set cases of beer under my butt so I could race, uh, reach the piano there. And started uh, off there, and then uh, I mean I've just been playing playing ever since. Oh wow! That Russ and Mary's might be the the new third shoot West. Yes, right oh, there okay. on ninety four. Yes, that's, right. that's what I thought. I was the third third shoot. The thir- yeah, yeah. They, right. they won't call it that. They're they're worried about the two threes and the Illuminati getting uh, involved. Yeah. I don't know. So Who brought that up to him? I, I, <laughs> I like the third shoot deuce. Yeah. Our dose. <laughs> All, right. All right, so uh, there you go. So that setting beer uh, under your butt to get you high enough. Yeah, to play yeah. Game. Your old man sounds all right. And then I finally grew up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I got tall enough to play on my own. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that uh, is that the uh, your only instrument, pretty much? Just keyboard yeah, or organ? Yeah, um, I played drums in high school, um, you know, so I kind of <clears throat> have the rudiments and stuff in my head whenever I play piano. So you might hear some drum rudiments and mixed with the piano playing a little bit but mm. rhythms you know. can be transferred to any yeah, instrument yeah really <laughs> yeah, so there you go and and you you are uh important to this band because you are well endowed you have a 49 inch <laughs> organ i understand <laughs> that's right that's uh, right. that's a that's a pretty good size organ yeah, do, you play with the, do you play with the whole the all 49 inches or just oh yeah i have yeah. two of them actually on stage with me i have a korg and a yamaha mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were talking about two different things. <laughs> Korg and Yamaha, those are cool too. <laughs> what, what's your Korg? Um, I'm a gearhead. Oh, okay. I got you. Um, I can't even think of the name of it right now. So, Cro- Is it the Kronos? Kronos, you got it. It's the Kronos. Yeah, Kronos. Mm-hmm. Kronos. And then uh, your Yamaha Hammer? Yeah, it's a motif. Yamaha motif. Is that a, is that a uh, more like a, di- a piano, digital piano, or uh, it's, I don't know what that one it's is. It's got all kinds of. It's got a really cool saxophone sound on nice. it. Nice. Um, they make me play it every once in a while. Do you now? We, we're <laughs> making jokes about your organ. Do you have? Do you yeah. play an actual organ? Do you you no, with like the, um, the uh, tone bars and all that? No, uh, mm-hmm. not really. I, really. I just uh, I'm lazy and I don't feel like dragging my <laughs> There's too with many knobs. <laughs> <laughs> too much to think about. I feel like I'm dragging half a hardware store around with me whenever. I'm <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so and, and you start playing at eight. 
Yeah. And then over in West Alton at a very young age. Yeah. So both you guys were like hitting the bar scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Barely out of diapers. <laughs> yeah. High school, my parents were, I don't know if you remember who he is, but uh, Nick Nixon back in the day played a lot of gigs in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And <clears throat> my parents used to take me from high school or, you know, school to the bar gigs. So. <laughs> nice. Wow. Good yeah, Love mom and dad. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> sound all right. They sound all right. Yeah. Uh, and, and you said you started playing in third grade, but uh, that what was the band again? It's called the Empty Heart Band. The Empty Heart yeah. Band. And, and did you ever let that, that, that was your uncle's band that was country-based band? Yep, yep, country. Uh, so you're now in Borderline, which is a country-based band. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys know how to play all kinds of stuff, but that's kind of your wheelhouse. Have you ever been in like a band that wasn't country based? Have you ever been in a, in a band that was more rock based or even jazz based or anything like that? Yeah, so I actually, um, there's some really cool people here in the Alton area. Um, a lady by the name of Lisa Everhart. We okay. just had her on last week. I was in a, she, first of all, she writes some amazing songs, which is, which is cool. You know, anybody yeah. that can write more than three sentences, you're, you're cool in my book. <laughs> and, and she just has a, a sound and and a process that I I don't understand how she does it, but she she writes, she plays the keys, and it comes out great. She had a band um, called Yield on Blue, hmm. um, and for a stint, um, I played guitar with with those guys, and it was a lot of fun because I would go to the Borderline gigs and play the same forty five country songs, and it was like, oh, this is original material that's not country. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I accidentally stumbled upon Lisa, um, actually doing some recording for another country artist, and she was waiting on deck to record her album, and it was like, "Hey, I want that guy to kind of play." So I'm like, "Okay, uh, I don't know these songs," I, and it was just like, "Okay, here's the song, hear it, and let's play a couple tracks and see how it works." and it just worked out. No, Lisa's a really awesome person. She just told us a story last week how they were in the studio a month ago, finishing up a song, and one of the guys playing on its grandson was there, and they threw him in as the lead guitar player at the last minute. Didn't tell him that they didn't know it. Just he was there in the studio. They're like, why don't you play the lead guitar on this one? You know, and just 14-year-old kid suddenly on the album. You know, you got to love that attitude with Lisa where it's like, hey, let's just do this. Let's not make a big deal. Let's just, right. it's, it's just music, man. Let's just do it. Well, and, that, yeah. and that's part of her creativity, too. It's yeah. like thinking outside of the box, like, you know what, I, and, and just thinking for her, she's written numerous songs. I'm sure after you write that many songs, it's like, okay, I, I need, <laughs> can someone else maybe add a touch here? Yeah, and then when yeah. you hear that touch, you're like, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's kind of how I, just kind of fell cool. into what Lisa was doing in Yield on Blue, and that was kind of a fun. I think I did that maybe three years, and nice. it was just kind of everybody was kind of in other bands too, and it was just one of yeah. those nice side projects. Yeah, let's get rid of playing the same forty-five songs over and over and over again, and go play these. And I think they have two or three albums, Yield on Blue, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Cool, sweet, cool, sweet. I oh, know. I thought you were going to say something. Uh, yeah, if you want me to, <laughs> you look like you're wanting to have a drink. A boo. I, I mean, if I got to say something, <laughs> we're five I, minutes in. I need a drink. <laughs> if, if, if I have to say one thing here, I will say this: the word moist. I okay. Love that word. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> back to the borderline band here, because I don't know what I'm doing. Now, you guys, uh, uh, you do play country music, but we're talking about how you like you play it when you play it fast, Eddie's People are requesting stuff. You'll play anything. I, well, anything that you can hum the tune to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And that keeps you on your toes. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, we, we for a while it was like, okay, let's let's do a set list. Let yeah. we're gonna have the set list. Here it is. We're playing these songs. And then before you know it, you're two months in, and you're like, we've played the same set list eight, <laughs> eighty three times. So we, we even just, the crowd knows what's coming. Right. Next. Right. Yeah. And. and <laughs> If it's not fun for us, it's not fun for them. Right. You know, so right. after two months of the same set list, we're like, eh, we're gonna have to do something different. And and playing a venue like Fast Eddie's, you might as well throw a set list away. You you can have what you yeah. think is going to be the it's next a guide. The next twenty <laughs> songs, you can have that sitting there, and you can be one song in, and here they come and play what they want, or they'll find somewhere else to go. You know, it's, it's yeah. like it's our job to keep them there and have them having fun and. If that means if that means playing Miley Cyrus, we'll squeak it in. It may not sound like Miley Cyrus, but we'll squeak it in. 
But if you uh, you should look the part, I think you should do the whole Miley Cyrus on the wrecking so, ball thing. That'd be oh, hot. Yeah. That'd be hot. So we, <laughs> I second that. That would be. <laughs> I, yeah. I tried playing the part one time. Remember, we got the the beard for the Chris Stapleton song. Oh yeah. yeah. So we we started playing a Chris Stapleton song, and I yeah. I don't know where this beard came from. It was like a <laughs> it's like a Duck Dynasty weird beard yeah. head head thing, and. Before we'd get Put ready the to do the bandana on it and everything. Before we get ready to do the Chris Stapleton song, I'd be like, oh, I'd turn around and I'd run over and I'd duck down, <laughs> put it on a pop up. Yeah, that lasted until it was like ninety five degrees outside. Right. Like, there's yeah. no way. I, I'm it was done. hilarious though when he did. You, uh, you could have used it for ZZ Top. Yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's cool. I, I have you. What about Chris Gaines? Now there's a no. <laughs> You a Chris Gaines fan? But, uh, uh, no. no. No, me either. Not a good baseball player. Great country singer. <laughs> right. Not so much with the rock and roll, the baseball playing, but stick to what you know, Garth. Uh, anyway, uh, so you guys got some gigs coming up here, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, June 18th. That is That should be tomorrow if we're, if we're playing this on the 17th. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, last week would have been when uh, Lisa Everhart was here, too, by what you were saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was several weeks ago. There you go. Uh, yeah, I get lost. I, yeah, I, yeah. Everyone who's listened before knows I don't know okay, what the hell I'm, I'm doing. I'm just reminding so them. Uh, yeah, in case they forgot. Uh, June 18th, you got a big gig coming up there. We do, yeah. We're going to be at the Sangamon County Fair, which is uh, just outside of Springfield in New Berlin, Illinois. And uh, country artist Riley Green is playing. And uh, up-and-coming uh, Nashville guy Troy Cartwright and uh, we're lucky enough to open the show. It's going to be wow. going to be fun. There you go. You guys have opened up for all kinds of people. Uh, not Chris Stapleton, though. Right? No, no. That, that would be. Uh, <laughs> we're working yeah, with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be. And but, I would wear the beard if we did. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, Shenandoah Confederate Railroad, Sammy uh, Kershaw, Aaron Tippin, Lone Star, Little Texas. That's. That's just a few of them. There's there's a whole list of people. I'm not even sure who they are, but they're obviously <laughs> national touring acts, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Rupert Stills, who is that? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and of course, that's that's sprinkled out, obviously. I mean, we've Over been doing years. this a long time. It's yeah. not like we opened for 45 national artists last year. But, uh, you know, if, if we can pick up one or two of those shows a year, it... It kind of motivates the band a little bit, and, and we don't rehearse a whole lot. And then we're like, "Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna be on a stage with this national guy. We don't want to embarrass ourselves. <laughs> Maybe we should at least have one rehearsal and kind of figure out what we're gonna do." And it's it's <clears throat> it's easy to kind of get stuck in the rut, especially as much as we play. I mean, we're doing eighty five plus shows a year. Um, it's easy to get stuck in the rut, and then it's like, "Oh, national artist." Let's rehearse and let's revamp. And, oh, by the way, do we have any new songs that we want to throw in there? If we do, now's the time. And it's just a good good chance to kind of revamp some things and, and really knock down a few things that maybe aren't as tight as they should be. So That's a good thing about playing all the time. Uh, it, it, you can hit and miss with that. But by playing all the time, you're being seen by different people who end up saying, hey, would you come play this show? Yeah, and that, that has happened uh, – multiple times you know you're just you're just at a venue and and we used to play um and i think it's a church now at wild country okay yeah uh, in collinsville um we we used to play there all the time and of course it it was a big venue not that it was better than any other venue or it paid any more than any other venue it was just a big fun line dancing venue and people would come there and they're like well well if you guys are playing here you you should yeah. play it and it was just a, a good connection thing, you know, the, and there are certain venues that that works well where you just kind of make a connection and people assume <laughs> that you're playing here, you could do this. And we're like, okay, cool. <laughs> and then we go home and go, what are we going to do? How, how, how are we going to do this? You know? And, yeah. Wing it. Now, some of those connections you made, though, especially with the fairs and different things you play by volunteering at the fairs and then meeting people behind the scenes and ended up getting a gig out of it. Yeah, right? and, and that's the thing. We we do one major fundraiser a year that we put on. We do an, an event for Toys for Tots. It's called Borderline Christmas. Um, it's always the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, and we've done 10 of those. Um, but... 
it's very difficult for me to say no to the March of Dimes or um, the American Red Cross or a- any of these people call. If it's something that we're available for, it, it's it's hard for me to just say no. You know, when you when you have your own kids and you're like, man, mm-hmm. I have healthy kids. I you know I don't know what I would do if I was in this person's situation. It's just hard for me to turn stuff down like that. So when you do that, it's like, oh well, we know this guy over here. Have you talked to this guy? And it's like, no, but I'll I'll talk to this. And, and there's never a bad connection, in, in my opinion. You just try to meet people and and treat them right and eventually things kind of work out and it, it's definitely helped us in the past connect to some better shows for sure yeah and staying out there and being visible as a band has been a big part of that but like i said you know volunteering to be behind the scenes and serve beer or something at, at an event <laughs> it has got you know, some yeah. open doors too right yeah you you just have to be willing to to be a part of what people are being a part you know people like to be a part of things um and just get your hands dirty and and go work you know just get out there and and be a part of it and many times people return the favor you know so and joe likes to say yes ask lisa everhard right yeah sure why not (laughs) yeah i'm on a couple of yield on blue albums because i was in the right place at the right time uh you played a little stint with the well hungarians filling in right yeah i filled in um uh I think it was about a year and a half ago they had a situation where they were kind of in between guitar players and I just told Johnny, you know, hey, I, I can play on Wednesdays. That's that's the night I'm available. I wish I could help you more, but between my own band and, you know, kids Life. doing this and, and whatever else. So I helped him out on Wednesdays and, um, yeah, it just it's kind of worked out. Now, Mike, you were in a band called Hillbilly Authority. Yes, sir. Right, and that's where Joe, you you had seen him? That's where I've been trying to steal him from for a long time. (laughs) Right, yeah, so that worked out. Yeah, and I have my version of the story. I'm not sure what the the Hillbilly Authority version is. Um, But no, and those guys are all great. And and the the Hillbilly Authority guys are are still kind of doing their, their thing as well. I know one of them, like, owns a winery and yeah. plays, mm-hmm. still plays his solo gigs. And nice. um, actually, Greg has actually sat in and helped us out at, yeah. at different gigs, too. Um, that's one thing, man. I, I don't want to stab anybody in the back. I don't want to mm-hmm. be that. I'm not trying to steal your guy. Right. It was one of those deals where I filled in a show with them. It was fun. It was great. And then one of our guys had a medical emergency, and we had a show coming up with opening mm-hmm. for Lee Bryce. I'm like, I got to have, <laughs> I, I'm yeah, not showing up with a trio to open up for a national right, artist, you know. Right. So I called Mike out of the blue, and he was available, and he did it. And, you know, the, my understanding is the Hillbilly Authority stuff kind of slowed down a little bit. Mm-hmm. We were playing a whole lot more, um, and it just kind of worked out where they were at a point where they were willing to go separate ways, and he was looking for yeah. a show. Uh, so. We got lucky. So then right. I knew a guy that I called him. <laughs> yeah. According to the Hillbilly Authority press okay. release, it says <laughs> yeah. that backstabber Joe. Yes. I, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's on social media somewhere. I've been called everything you could possibly be called. But no, man. You haven't been I, called Opal the Hot Little Big Night. <laughs> That happens with bands. I mean, you guys had Gina Briscobus as a singer at one time, right? That's the uh, Amazon River Boys, right? Yeah, yeah. And and that that all blended because I grew up in Bunker Hill. She's from Bunker Hill. And it was just one of those things. Like, she was at a point with her music situation where she's like, hey, I'll come do it. It'll be fun, you know? And that that's kind of what we've done over the, the years and why we've survived mm. so long is – you know, number one, it's not a job. As soon as it becomes a job, you're you're done. Mm-hmm. You've you've lost it. And number two, we're not trying to be famous. We're we're not trying to get a record deal. We're not trying to sell our souls to the devil. We're barely we're, famous. Damn, yeah. I love it. Yeah, you know, love it. You know, we, we we did have a YouTube video that that went viral. I think we had like oh, yeah. twenty three views on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we we just want to have fun. You yeah, know? and. It, we're not trying to be in a competition. We're not trying to be better than anybody else. We're not trying to steal gigs. from. We just want to do our thing. Yeah. We want to leave people alone. And, and 
I'm over the drama, man. I, I'm so right. old. I, I just yeah. can't do band drama. We just do our thing, and everybody gets along. We're you know it's we're not throwing stuff at the end of the night. We're not. It's just like hey, that was a fun night, guys. So mm -hmm. Let's uh, we'll see you next time. You yeah. know, yeah. when you got the right group of people that just are always smiles and always enjoying what you're doing. Doesn't even matter what else happens. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where you play, how much you get paid, who saw it. Man, that was fun. Right. That was a good time. To me, right. that's what I always tell everybody. You know, like I, I taught a few. Uh, I like taught my wife how to play bass. She didn't know how to play. I just taught her some root notes, get her thumping it. And anytime I'm helping someone and they say, "Am I doing it wrong?" Simple question: Are you having fun? Yeah. Then you're not doing it wrong. I don't care what note you played. Yeah. If you're enjoying yourself, man, mm -hmm. that's life. That's what you're supposed to do all the time. You yeah. Know? And mm -hmm. and we're also we're not so dead set on playing it like the record. I mean, yeah. we'll, we try to get close, and that, that's great. But there, as much as we play, there are songs we've played a hundred times, a thousand times, and we'll play, and this guy over here is like, oh, where'd that little, where'd that riff come from? And everybody looks, and everybody smiles, and it, yeah. it's like, that was fun, man. That, that was like cool. Like the Lenny Tunes thing or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, then it almost becomes like a... Uh, it, it kind of gets everybody hyped up, like, okay, well, I'm going to see what I can find to do yeah. Yeah, yeah. the next that, thing. You, know, it, you start noodling. Yeah, that, it's, I, <laughs> I love it whenever a five-minute song turns into a ten-minute song. You didn't mean for it to. Nobody said right. we're going to jam this one out. Mm -hmm. right. It just feels right. Or, or, uh, or even if you do, like, a, oh, what's the old traffic song? Dear Mr. Fantasy. I play It's a three-chord song. Played it a hundred times, mm -hmm. a thousand times. I don't know. Just a few weeks back, it was different people that, I, that we don't, you know, it wasn't a band. It was just some guys in a room. <laughs> And we played that song, and it was funky. It wasn't bluesy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the way I, you know, you're like, where did that version come from? <laughs> and there was no talking about it, you know. I, right. I, the, and that and that's, the cra that's the crazy thing. If you try to do it, it won't work. No. It, it almost yeah. has to be a spontaneous, whoa, I didn't expect that. That was cool. Wait a second, I'm going to do this. It, it's got to happen on or the Or sometimes phone. you're like, wow, that sucked. And then you do it next time, you're like, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. If you, make mistake, if you make a mistake, you wait till a bar rolls around, you make right. that mistake again, and people are like, oh, he meant to do that first. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Jazz. That's it's, it's jazz. jazz. Exactly. Jazz, jazz, that's man. cool stuff, man. Now, that, that's, uh, it's, you're right, though. It's like, it's music. A lot of people don't kind of think of it this way, or, you know, non musicians, but it's a conversation going on. And if right. he says something musically, if you're having the same conversation you've had before, but he just said something, new that makes you want to say something mm, new right. like oh i heard i hear what you're saying and i'm going to respond with this right, <laughs> right. and uh that that is the one of the beauties of it that and, and it's not always pretty sometimes it can be a train wreck when you yep. do start improv oh, yeah. yep. because it goes but man it's it's also the bee's knees right, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah for sure that's so back awesome. around 07, you guys won a battle of the bands, ended up being WIL's house band or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I got a random email message from somebody that followed the band like, hey, you should check into this battle of the bands. And my first response is, this is so dumb. Like, who, <laughs> who wants to do a battle of the bands? This is the worst idea. It, so I messaged the guys, and I'm like... All right, these things are so rigged. This is a waste of our time. Like we're gonna go over there. This is gonna be embarrassing. Like what? Whatever. Right. And it's like so we're supposed to showcase how amazing you are in three songs, right? You're supposed to. And then the judge was like somebody that owned a, a car dealership, right? Uh, you, you know, it's like real music aficionado. Yeah, it's like, right. You guys really know what's happening yeah. here, you know? So. I don't know. There, there were several bands, and and we went and we played, and we're like, yeah, that was fun, whatever. And we kind of stood out in the crowd, and when we won the thing, we're like, really? Wait, wait a second, we we just won the thing? Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe it's not rigged. Maybe they do know what they're talking or about. Maybe it really is rigged. Yeah, yeah. it's rigged. We, he, he he slipped him some money. He's like, so I'll buy, I'll buy one of those new Cadillacs if we can win this yeah, deal. Put that El Dorado. Yeah, but you still get you still get offers now and again from that that little battle of the bands, right? For, yeah. Because of WIL, right? Yeah, and it, it's kind of a a weird relationship. You know, we're we're a local band, and they're a monster mm -hmm. station. You know, it's like we're at the bottom of their uh, business that they need to to get to. But every once in a while, it's like, hey, we got this thing coming up. Oh yeah, we have these guys. You know, let let's see if they're still doing their thing and. I just get random calls like, hey, yeah, you guys still together? Yeah, we're still together. Hey, can you do this? And 
Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, know, yeah. Just, I have a hard time saying no. <laughs> Can I borrow 20 bucks? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <we're> <laughs> Uh, okay, I got If he's giving me twenty, I'm done here. I yeah. gotta go. <laughs> you guys do break it down and play acoustic too, like you and you and Stephanie, right? Yeah, Stephanie and I. Uh, and then if we can get Mike, that makes it even better because he, you know, he's and the the bass notes and the and now he's been saying he plays piano. I don't. I don't want people thinking that we're like wheeling in this baby grand piano, right? Oh yeah. He, <laughs> he plays a keyboard and. Probably the piano sound is the least played sound he, he plays on it. <laughs> Between the strings and the horns and the saxophone and the banjo and the everything else you can think Banjo-y. of. Banjo-y. Um, so when we, do acoust- <laughs> when we do acoustic shows, we just show up with three guys instead of five or six and um, just kind of break it down a little bit. We kind of yeah. the drum set at home and like a sunday afternoon at grafton winery yeah right? yeah that right. place is so much fun mm-hmm. if you uh especially if you like the wine slushies oh, okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. i thought so, i was gonna say the wine slushies those are <laughs> like yeah i do <laughs> like those <laughs> oh man it's getting late i'm half drunk <laughs> it, is. it is it is he's sip, sipping away over there <laughs> So uh, what else you got coming up? July 3rd, uh, Lost Valley Lake Resort. That's uh, in Owensville. Playing. Owensville, Missouri. Yeah, that's that's a fun one there. They have a, a, a nice little resort there. And I believe people, it's almost like a timeshare. I, I don't want to call it a timeshare, but it's almost like a yeah, deal where you can like pay in and you get so many weekends a year or whatever it is. But um, the cool thing is is it's a family deal. We play bars so, so much. It's mm-hmm. like... It's a cool thing for the family deal. Kids can go there. The the fireworks show is cool. They're, you know, it, it, everybody's there is just awesome to work with. Yeah. Right. So you got the Sagamon County Fair that's that way on June eighteenth, but you're also playing the uh, Jefferson County Fair right on the twenty third of July. Yeah, July twenty third, the Jefferson County Fair. That's in Hillsboro, Missouri, um, and that's kind of a cool one too. We'll be playing with uh, country country artist Jared Neiman. Okay. Um, the fun part about that, when, when you open for a national artist, number one, not everybody's always in the seats, you know. So you're you're playing to half capacity. And then it's right. like a 35-minute set. You're just getting warmed up, and you're like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> but but at that fair, they, they figured it out is they put the local or regional artist to open the show. You play your 40-minute set, and then the national artist comes on. While the national artist is on, we run up to the beer tent, and as soon as that national artist says good night, we fire back up again. No, okay. so, so it's like you yeah. got warmed up, and then comes and then, the and then you're party. the after party. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. 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 you're, you're yeah. the pre party and the after party. So those who missed the opener because yeah. they didn't, well, who wants to see Borderline open the show? You know, right. they get stuck with us anyway because they <laughs> leave the show and they come back and they, <laughs> they catch us in the. In what the happens when the uh, national act shows up and they end up opening up for you, like over at Anheuser Busch? Uh, that was an interesting <laughs> situation. Yeah, that that was in uh, 2018, I think. Uh, we got a call from a, an agency in St. Louis to go play at the brewery. And they said, hey, you know, you're going to be opening for Cassidy Pope. And I'm like, okay, what time? Tell us what time. So they told us we were going to start at 7. And I'm like, that's great. We're probably going to play 45 minutes. And she's going to come on and do her 90-minute thing like every other national artist. And so we're like, okay. So we load up the stuff. We get there. There's a really cool band called Smithfield. If you haven't seen them, they're they're up-and-coming Nashville uh, folks. Really good. Um, they're playing. I'm like, oh, these these guys are legit. Like this is this is really cool, you know. So the next thing we know, Smithfield's off. Cassidy Pope's on the stage. We're like, I thought we were opening for Cassidy Pope. Like, what well, what happened? Like, uh, nope. Evidently, Cassidy Pope was opening for us, and she wasn't too thrilled. Uh, honestly, she wasn't yeah. too thrilled about. It. She got off the stage. She's like, looking around, like, what are these guys doing? Well, we're we're the closing band, I guess. I, I don't know. And I don't know if that was a mix-up on the agency's part. Yeah, or that had to some, feel odd, though. Some, it it to, was, all it was very s- odd because it was like, hey, can we get a picture? Can we yeah. get a picture with you? <laughs> yeah. like, can we get a picture with you? And, of course, she's got this look on her face like, 
I guess I guess I have to. I am your opening act. Yeah. I can't I say no. Old, I know you're old drummer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So uh, so I'm not really sure what happened there, and but but it was cool. It was fun, and the crowd was was uh, ready to go after she got off the stage. They were ready, and nice. I think we ended up playing almost three straight hours that night. It was like nice. Yeah, it was quite a while. We're gonna go and. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. Until they tell us to stop. We're well, at that, at that point, right, at Bush, that point we knew there was no one after yeah. us, right? Because yeah. Cassidy mm-hmm. Pope of our, she right. already done her thing. Yeah. So we're like, you want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. You want to keep playing? Yeah, let's keep. Yeah. So we felt <laughs> I like. I got to pee. I'm sorry, but I got to <laughs> pee. <laughs> <laughs> can hold it for another hour. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an empty Gatorade bottle. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I mean, this is real life band stuff we're talking. Oh about. yeah. <laughs> when you got a when you got a pumped crowd, how do you stop? If no one's telling you get off stage and you know another song, you're gonna keep playing, right? I mean, right. I, I, yeah. that would be hard to walk away from a big crowd. Yeah, there there really is cool. one venue, and it's the Jefferson County Fair in Hillsboro, Missouri. When they say you're done, you're done. You're not only are you done. <laughs> They line up Jefferson County's finest. Oh, like 30 of them. They're, they they get in a line, wow. and they start on yeah. one side, and they walk them out, and they don't care if the, you're chanting one more or not. The <laughs> band is done. Wow. And they walk them off. And yeah. actually, I kind of like it because it's like yeah. you can one more it for how many hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Like, well, a lot, of the, like, a lot of big places, there is a kill time. Uh, like, uh, you know, you have to, all live music has to stop at midnight or 1 a.m. And a lot of big contracts will have you get, uh, uh, you know, fined every minute you go over your time. If you're supposed to stop at 11.59 and you played a 12, that's $500 off your pay. 12 on 1, that's 1000 you know. Right. Well, wait, what? Well, it sounds but, like we owe them $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good way to keep a, a big festival with bands that don't want to play online. Uh, I uh, there's a guy we know in St. Louis, Jimmy Tebow. He hired a band, George Clinton band, to uh, he he was going to play after them at uh, at his festival. They didn't leave the stage till three a.m. and he didn't have the heart to tell them to go away because they're a national act. You know, mm-hmm. he's like, it was three a.m. when they got off stage. We didn't play. You know, so the next year when he hired them, he played before them because he knows you can't you can't get those guys. There's 30 guys in that band. If they right, pee, wow. they take turns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> they, 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 they can take on Jefferson County's pine they, by yeah, themselves. Yeah. <laughs> they might outnumber them. There's a lot of people in that band. Yeah. yeah. So what I what I've actually started doing is if I know it's a venue that like hey these people aren't going to leave right away, we've kind of got like hey it's quarter till. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to tell them it's the last song, guys, because we know they're going to go one more, and then we give them two more. We're going to be yeah. – and we just play the game. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. Good as gold, right? Yeah. 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 There you go, man. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, – the, the Sagamon is on June 18th, and when was the Jefferson County? That's July 23rd. July 23rd. There you but go. you guys are playing like Wild Pickens, Grafton Winery, Fast Eddie's. Uh, around our area, those are the places where you can always find you guys. From yeah, time and to if, time. if you uh, if you're on Facebook, I know everybody's uh, how many billion people are on Facebook. Just you can jump on there. We we kind of over post, but, right? But um, we post things on there at, at least weekly. But it's usually just about every day we post. Hey, this is coming up this week or next week or or whatever. And I know for some people that's a little over the top, but we're not doing that because we think we're so great or we think we're whatever. We're, we're doing that because we realize Facebook limits who can see right. what. So we may post things right. five times, and you may have seen it four of those five times. There are 10,000 people over here that follow our band that didn't see it at all. Yeah. So yeah. It, we're, we're really not trying to overpost. We're, we're just trying to get as many people as possible right to, to see what's what's going on so. and the other thing about algorithms is when you when you post often it keeps you fresh as far as relevance so uh when someone searches you on google you're going to pop up at the top uh because you guys are active yeah so. and that's i mean that's the whole point of facebook right, right? They, yeah. they're the they are wanting people to use their platforms so mm-hmm. to reward you for using their platform they mm-hmm. kind of bump you up a little bit and it's it's a game and I, I wish, honestly, we didn't have to play it. I wish it, right. we could just say, hey, go to our website, theborderlineband.com. All of our shows are there. Unfortunately, peop- people are on their phones. They're yep. on these social media sites. 
And, uh, you know, I'm not much of an instagram or yeah. whatever they even call it. Yeah. But instagram I, Not yeah. tiktok yeah. <laughs> I, I've not gotten to TikTok yet, but we, we'll throw stuff up on Instagram. And I don't know, what do we have, 600 followers on Instagram? It's not that many, but, you know, maybe those people didn't see it over here. It, it's all about uh, when you do what we do, mm. when you show up to a venue, they're expecting people to come there to watch you. You know, if, if you can bring an extra 10 people because you posted something on Instagram, mm-hmm. that's an extra 10 people, you know, and that's. Mm-hmm. But it, and it is, it's, it's crazy because, oh, well, I, I haven't even got Facebook down. Now Instagram, now mm-hmm. TikTok, you know, and, and I don't Snapchat. mean to be a hater, but I'm an Insta- in- immigrant. No, I couldn't even say it. An- anti-immigrant. No, I don't mm-hmm. know. Okay. I'm, not a, I'm not into the Instagram thing. Mm-hmm. I've tried yeah. to get into it. That's just one more thing you have to do mm-hmm. every day and mm-hmm. check. Yeah. Can't we all just agree to do one thing and stop? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Amen. Why not? <laughs> and, and I think there are there are platforms that tried that, like Reverb Nation tried yeah. to be like the social media for bands. Yeah, that's great. But people who aren't in bands don't go to Reverb Nation. Yeah, they don't see right? it. Right. So here I'm sharing my shows with other every musicians other yeah. who already have that are shows playing every that, weekend, like yeah. us. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, the website is one spot. The Facebook is probably the best spot, though, right? The, the Facebook is, is updated at least once every 36 hours. Uh, I right. won't say daily, but, but it, yeah, it's it's updated. And I try not to get too far out on mm. Facebook. So if you scroll through our Facebook events and you're like, I thought you guys played 85 shows. There's only seven shows here. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to promote shows now that are happening six months from now because guess what people want it they want to know the information now Mm -hmm. so uh, you know your show's on the perfect time because it's right before the weekend and i would highly encourage people to tune into your show because it it makes sense people people wait till the last second in my opinion people wait till the last second to decide what they're doing where they're going and that's why social media is so quick and so instant. It's like, oh, I like this now. They don't like it six months from now. They like yeah. it now, and then it's gone. So yeah, there's so much out there for people to be entertained by. It's a it's a saturation, and you got to kind of find your way through it all and and still get your name out there to promote yourself. So and, well, and and it's you know it's like what you were saying too. It's an instant society, an mm-hmm. instant gratification is yep. what we want. Nobody wants to wait around for the Christmas JC Penney's catalog to come out and look at the underwear <laughs> section. I'm gonna get on my phone and watch young Japanese girls spit in each other's mouths all night. You know, <laughs> you don't have to wait for anything in the society. It's all right there in your hand, and, uh-huh. and uh, you know, yeah, it's in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my hand right now. Uh, my phone is. And, uh, <laughs> oh, but that's serious catalog you got it right there the jc penny had, had the girls that, you know, they, they were dirty girls in the jc penny's catalog and the serious, serious girls were all hoity-doity you know yeah I don't know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right so what yeah, yeah. what, what hey, are we one doing thing, who one, are you guys <laughs> one thing we didn't one thing we didn't mention about joe is he's alumni with us we found out he he worked at wlca too right. did some radio that's right yeah what a, what a fun couple of years that was and I find myself using some of those skills on a daily basis, yeah. whether it's talking to people at the store, whether it's mm. uh, giving weather reports to random people. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, to my kids, right? Hey, kids, better, better dress in layers because right now it's partly cloudy at 47. This afternoon, <laughs> we've got showers <laughs> coming in this afternoon. Right. You're going to want a rain jacket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not only did you go through the program, though, you, you had a couple radio gigs, right, after you guys Yeah, I did. I worked for a small station in, in Litchfield, WSMI. That, that was kind of fun. Um, you know, you can only read. Oh, that wasn't the one with Night Rock, was it? That is, yeah. Night Rock. I just remember when he said, suddenly when yeah. he said that, I'm like, ooh, I, I had a flashback to Night Rock. They still do that? They should. I, I have no idea. I, I read right? yeah. farm reports and all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, there you go. I mean, and for the morning's ag report, we go to yeah. Joe. Farmersonly.com. <laughs> <laughs> they cover all the sports Farmers up in that area. <laughs> yeah. The, I, you don't yeah, have to be wiping. <laughs> yeah, sports and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, yeah. These guys are having. But we play the hardcore stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I love it. <laughs> You're all right, Mike. You're we'll all right. We'll have to watch the video to figure out what they were talking about. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Can we edit that video? Yeah, we might have to scratch it. Oh a few. my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, hey, well, there we go, man. This is the, this is the borderline band, and I apologize for you anything crossed I've the borderline, didn't you? I, I, right. I don't. I might have. It's, let's, let's hope not. Uh, He's like, "There's a line. I'm crossing it or snorting it." <laughs> we, we, we've probably crossed the line a few times. Uh, I don't know anyway. where to go from here. Yeah, let's go back to the 49 inch organ. That's yeah. what I'm <laughs> well, now that that is the uh, we've been talking to Joe Melantine and Mike Hatfield from the Borderline Band. Missing in action is uh, Joe's brother Tim uh, Melantine, Randy Bland on drums, and then Stephanie Rabus. There we go. I, I wrote rabies down for some reason. I'm no, sorry. Man, it's all right. uh, anyway, She's not here. So. Uh, there you go. So yeah. then, if you want to catch up with Borderline Facebook, it just Borderline band, uh, face uh, the borderline band, the yeah. borderline band, yep. and same thing with uh, with the website. It is the borderline band dot com. Yeah, yes, sir. you yeah, may yeah. see borderline acoustic from time to time. That's when they break it down and do the winery. Right? There you go. Yeah. Now yeah. the secret is you'll never know. You just have to show up and see if it's all of them. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's there you go. I bet Randy doesn't show up a lot. I don't even know where Randy, where Randy, Randy's going to listen to this and be like, who is that guy? He said that because he's a drummer. Yeah, dr- right? no, drummers are drummers. Drummer, yeah. If you've got kids, make them play drums. You'll be so happy when they're old. He lives in a van down by the river. Give him a break. Ah. <laughs> well, and then your poor brother, Tim, the bass player. That's like yeah. barely a step above the drummer. Right? Yeah. You got you got any guitars with F-holes in them? No. That you're supposed to have those, you keep meat and cheese in there to feed the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if any of this is true. Could right, be. Wait. Could be. Thanks again to our our guests, Borderline. Check them out uh, on Facebook. Check them out at borderlineband.com. Check them out at the uh, at the Sagamon uh, Fair coming up. Hopefully tomorrow, if this is not the right day. That's happening on June 18th. <laughs> I'm just too high to do this job anymore. Oh, man. You should get someone way more sober. Uh, <laughs> we want to we thank not only uh, Joe and Mike from the Borderline Band. Big thanks to Matt Van Voorst, who I'm yeah. sure is like, don't mention my name right now. Stop <laughs> He's saying He's embarrassed name. of it. <laughs> Big thanks to Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. You know Big- what he's embarrassed of, having to show up with his guitar when he does a... a yeah, and, and if you call him to ask for insurance, <laughs> ask him to bring his guitar and play a few songs. The only way I get insurance is yeah. play a couple songs. That's what I would do. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's why Matt's not going to be our sponsor long. <laughs> also, big thanks to Halpin Music Company. They've been our they've been a sponsor yeah. since day one when you first asked me to come into the. You know, show. I thought about Mark Landon earlier when uh, you were talking about um, the pianos and different things he yeah. plays, and all the stories Mark told us about moving pianos in and out of people's houses that they've done over the years. You can imagine some of the stories he's got. Yeah, that's <laughs> moving pianos is not a job I want. No. Man. No. Me neither. <laughs> right? yeah. I don't even want to have to move one across the room. That's just yeah, yeah. What do you hey. think about when you play though? Because I think about like shapes and colors and things when you're playing. You just got to picture everybody in their underwear. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> not Wait, the, get that thing out of my face! <laughs> not the not the guys in the band. Just the, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this this has been a lot of fun. Uh, thanks again to, to the guys from Borderline. Everybody get out and check them out. Oh, I, I, I forgot. One more, yeah. Alex is sponsored. There you go. Get it. Yeah. Michael Kreider, Farmers Insurance, also Money Shot. The right? Money Shot Band. There you go. And those guys play out quite a bit, too. So yeah. get out and check out some, uh, some local bands. Definitely see Borderline. They got some good shows coming up. And anything else? You well, got I think you got this? it all, man. You did I, everything. One thing we Every, forgot. Oh, what's that? Everybody, get out and support local music and art. 